What's up, y'all? We are, uh, we got a new game today. A couple days ago, really. And, uh, it's called 20XX, and if you like Mega Man or anything like that, I think you're gonna like this game. This is essentially a Mega Man clone that was, uh, released for Steam. I'm sure you can probably get it somewhere else, but that's where I got my copy. Um, it looks like this right here. That's the uh, that's the icon at least. So let's go ahead and uh, get right into it, and I'll uh, I'll give you some gameplay capture. All right, so here we go. All right, so. They've obviously got some advertisements over here. They've got their Discord channel. They've got some uh, DLC already available. And they've got 30XX coming soon, which I'm assuming is going to be something similar to uh, Mega Man X or uh, Mega Man 2. Just a, a sequel for the uh, for the gameplay itself. Uh, now, what I'm told is that this does much better in um, controller. Uh, then it doesn't keyboard and mouse, but you can play it with keyboard, uh, which is what I'm going to be doing because I do not have a wireless controller that'll hook up to my computer. So let's go ahead and get started with uh, with the game. Oh, just so that you guys don't have to try to figure out exactly what keys to push, I'll go ahead and go over that once we actually get into the main game as well. All right, so control for uh, left, right is just going to be your two arrow keys on the right. Uh, if you hit spacebar, that's jump. F will give you a little dash. If you hold on to the wall, you can actually wall slide. So just hold the direction that the wall is next to. And then D is your shoot. If you hold D, you can char shoot, uh, charge to shoot, just like in uh, Mega Man. And your A button, uh, the A key, is going to be your main um, selector. Oh, I have chips. How many chips? Oh, I have 39 chips. All right, so down here you've got your option to actually do um, all right next uh, next run items. So you can get these items, uh, and they will be available for you the next time you play uh, one of the games. These are the permanent upgrades, which way more handy in in my humble opinion. And then these are new item unlocks. So basically, if you buy these, these will be available in the future games that you're playing. So you got, uh, this one is enemies drop more health, which is always a nice thing. Uh, Excalibur, um, attack damage up, power damage down. Uh, I'm not sure if I like that. And the power enhancer, the powers that you get from the bosses will do more damage. I'm gonna buy that. And... Gonna buy this. There we go. So I'm only gonna be playing on Reverend because I am a casual gamer. All right, I'm not a pro gamer. I don't, I don't want to be like, oh, defiant to no, 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 no. Why? I play games for fun. Maybe if that's your thing, it's not my thing. I, I, I like just a, just a fun game. Not to mention, <laughs> I'm straight, straight up not good enough to play on the fucking defiant. Can't do it. I die pretty quickly. All right, so I actually already got a um, a box earlier that allows you to uh, get a, a bonus box right at the beginning. So I scrapped in my basic buster for the triple beam. You can also wall jump. Oop, almost stepped in the fire. Oh, uh, there we go. Yep. As you can see, this is why Wahats does not play. On uh, on harder than just easy difficult. So if you hit the F key for your dash and then your jump, 
you'll do a uh, dash jump, which makes it a heck of a lot easier trying to get over the uh, larger gaps like that. These guys are an absolute pain in the butt. They die fairly easily, but yeah. Ow. Ow. Oh god, I'm terrible at this game. But I do have a lot of fun. Alright, strong on Bayon. Basic attacks deal a little more damage. Yeah, I'll take that. Buy that for a dollar. Soul chips are things that you can uh, get. Those are the things that I cashed in at the uh, very beginning. That's how you get your items. So I don't know if any of you guys actually are enjoying the uh, the soundtrack, but I thought it was really well done. So I I definitely don't mind uh, playing that in the background rather than anything else that I would normally play. Alright, final boss already. And these are kind of neat. They literally put um, put them in the middle of the level, and any of the nuts that you get uh, basically becomes your currency. So you spend the nuts on these things, and uh, as long as you have enough, you can actually refill your health bar. Which is really nice for people like me, who just get damaged uh, quite a bit. Rollster Beta. Roll free or die. So one of the great things about this game in, uh, that I that I really enjoy is the fact that each one of these levels is randomly generated. So that means that if I were to play Rollster Beta again, it would not be the same level. Uh, the level would change slightly. The uh, prizes, the uh, treasures would be in different spots. The uh, enemies would be slightly different. Nice. Powers deal slightly more damage. Alright, I'll take that. They also give you a speed bonus if you're actually quick enough. And at the end, you get an option of either taking the boss power, which for him was the boomerang blade. You can get nuts, or you can get another strong arm band. Uh, we're going to take the, uh, the power. So now... You can see it up in the top left of the screen. I've got the uh, boomerang blade. That's what the energy does, which is the light blue uh, color things underneath of your health meter. And if I hit Q, there it is. Boomerang blade. We'll go ahead and take this and some soul chips. And these guys always say something sarcastic and a little mean, but keep your eyes peeled for bonus augs. Build note, set up the next build with peeled eyes. Got it. Yeah, they, they are definitely dad joke worthy. I enjoy them. Maybe that's not your cup of tea, but I enjoy them. And then you get to choose between the next three bosses uh, who you want to fight next. All right. So that was 20XX. It's a clone of Mega Man. One of the greats uh, from back in the day. Just wanted to do a really short video showcasing at least one of the levels. Uh, when you first start the game, it'll randomly select one of the eight bosses to throw you into the first level. The levels are randomly generated, so each time you do it, uh, the platforms are in different locations, different jumps, different item pickups, uh, different enemy placements, that kind of thing. Um, it's available on Steam. I am not sponsored by Steam, uh, so I do not know the price or anything like that. I do not believe it's available for any kind of physical property, uh, but if you find it anywhere else, it, it's a really fun game. I think you would enjoy it if you enjoyed the, uh, the original Mega Man. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, maybe subscribe to the channel, uh, I would really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the bell, I will be uploading as many videos as I can uh, to this channel.
I also am a Twitch streamer, uh, fairly new. Uh, my uh, handle is twitch.tv slash wahat underscore underscore. You can also hit me up on Twitter at twitter.com slash wahats1, uh, where you'll see a feed for any of the new streams that I'm doing, uh, some of the games that I might like to play. Uh, I'll also be taking suggestions for games uh, to play on either YouTube or on Twitch. Um, I'll, I'll try to answer as uh, quickly as possible, or if you just want to chat about whatever, I'm here for that too. Uh, so until next time, enjoy the games. GG everyone. GG.